Welcome back everyone. Thanks for clicking on the video. Out here with my Savage 64 10 round semi-auto 22 LR today. The reason for bringing out my rifle today is because I want to discuss the 22 LR as my favorite survival rifle. Magazine's out, chamber's clear, safety's on. Let's get into this. The 22 lr as a survival rifle is a budget-friendly option. That's the first point I'd like to make. This rifle was $149. The scope was just under $30. So I'm under $200 for this setup. Not all 22 lrs are that cheap. You can get up to the $1,000 mark easily for a very nice rifle. But for what I'm doing, a $200 rifle is all I need. There are many variations to the 22 lr You can get them in semi-auto, which I have, bolt action, the tube feed, the takedown, the over-under with a 410 shotgun. But to get into those, you're blowing that budget out of the water. The next point I would like to discuss for the 22 lr being my, not your, favorite survival rifle of choice is the ammunition. One pound of 22 LR ammunition will yield you about 175 rounds. That's impressive. They're light, they're small, and they're packable. If you bumped up the caliber to say a 30 odd six, you'd only have about 46 rounds per pound. And for a 30-30, you're looking at about 41. The 30-30 and the 30 odd six here in Canada anyways, you're looking at about $24.99 to about $39.99 for 20 rounds. The 22 LR, you get 50 for $6.99. All around budget friendly. The main reason this is my survival rifle of choice. Speaking of weights, to go up to a larger caliber rifle, you're only gonna add about a pound and a half to two pounds to your overall rifle weight. This comes in at just under five, the 30 odd six, the 30 30s, you're pushing about six and a half to seven pounds. So really not much weight there, but when you factor in the amount of ammunition you can take and a lighter rifle, still makes this the wilderness survival rifle of choice. So you find yourself stranded out in the wilderness. You have a 22 LR, 50 rounds of ammunition. What is it you think you're gonna be going after? I know everyone's gonna say deer, bear, moose, go feed yourself. No, that's just not the case. You're gonna be going for small game, rabbit, grouse. Being proficient and accurate with your 22 LR up to 100 yards gives you a wide variety of small game that you could put on the table. Considering you're primarily gonna be going after that small game, the small caliber of the 22 LR provides you with less meat damage and more meat for the belly. This could take a deer, ethically, maybe not. Find yourself in a survival situation, you have the opportunity, I'd probably take it. Here in Canada, you're actually not allowed to shoot deer with the 22s. It's only for small game. But if it's between life and death, I'd probably take that shot. <laughs> what I really like about my Savage 64 is the fact that it doesn't need a scope. It comes stock with iron sights. They're pretty accurate. I think it shoots down to the left just a touch, but I know that it's my rifle, so I can accommodate for that. So if I am ever in a survival situation, I drop my rifle, break my scope, I could simply tear it off and I'm still able to put food over the fire. One more thing I would like to discuss before I wrap up this video is the 223 caliber. It's comparable, very comparable. You get about 120 rounds for that pound of ammunition versus the 150 for the 22, but it's the price tag. The rifle 600 and the rounds are about $23 for 20. But still, in my opinion, budget wise, packability wise, with the rifle and ammunition, being able to service this in the field, tear off the scope, still have iron sights. The 22 LR is my survival rifle of choice. A lot of people will think that this is not a large enough caliber for a survival rifle. And in my opinion, I think it is.
So all that being said, from the affordability, the comparisons in weight to ammunition, weight in the rifle, the pure ease of use of a 22 LR in a survival situation. This has a lot going for it. I really believe that the 22 LR is a top notch rifle for wilderness survival. I am well aware that this can be a very touchy and controversial subject for some. That's just my reasons why I like the 22 LR and I think they're justified. Hit me up in those comments. I invite you to come and convince me otherwise. I'd really appreciate it if you guys kept the comments to wilderness survival. This is not SHTF. I'm not talking about self-defense. I'm not talking about the big what ifs in this world. I'm talking about being stranded in the bush with one rifle, and this is the rifle I would choose. There you have it. Those are my reasons why I choose the 22 LR as a survival rifle. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm gonna lock and load, go do some plinking. Enjoy having my rifle out here with me, get her sighted in again, and just have some fun. Catch you next time.